Hello everyone, welcome to PB Maths. Today in this video, I am going to solve a puzzle which is based on cryptarithmetic. Look at here, this question is ABCD into 4 is equals DCBA. Means ABCD is a 4 digit number. By multiplying that 4 digit number with 4, we will get one more 4 digit number and we need to find the numbers which are represented by these alphabets A, B, C and D. By looking at this one, we can say that DCBA is less than 10,000 because 10,000 is equal is a 5 digit number. So DCBA is less than 10,000. If DCBA is less than 10,000, obviously ABCD is less than 2,500. Because 2,500 into 4 results to a 5 digit number. But here we have only a 4 digit number as a result. So ABCD is less than 2,500. It clears that A can't be more than 2. So the values of A are and also A can't be 0. So A is equals to 1 or 2. But we know that a multiple of 4, if you multiply any number with 4, you're going to get a, an even number. So since here a is in unit place, we can say that A is equals 2. Now I am going to put A equals 2 in this one. 2B C D into 4 is equals D C B 2. Now look at here. 4 2 is 8. Of course we get the value of D may be 8. Or 9 it can't be 10 because it becomes a 5 digit there is a there is carry over then it becomes a 5 digit number now look at it D is equals 8 or 9 D can't be 9 because if you put D is equals 9 we will get 4 9 is a 36 and we would not get 2 in unit place therefore D is equals 8 now I am going to put D equals 8 in this puzzle what I am going to write 2B C8 into 4 is equals 8C B2. Since we know that there is no carryover from here, B must be 1 or 2. But we already know that A is equals to here. Therefore, I am going to write B is equals 1. Now I am going to replace that b by 1 so we get 2 1 c 8 into 4 is equals 8 c 1 2 so 4 8s are 32 there is a carry over 3 here now what i'm going to write 4 times of c plus this carry over 3 results to a number which ends with 1 so 4 times of C must ends with 8. So we can get a result which ends with 1. So the multiples of 4s are 8, 28. If we consider 8, then C value becomes 2. But we already know that the value of A is 2. So we can't take this 8. Then we have to take 28 because 28 plus 3 equals 31. So if that's the case, then I'm going to write 4 into 7 plus 3 equals 31. Then this 7 becomes the value of C. So I'm going to write therefore C is equals 7. So we know the now we have the value of A. We have the value of D, B and C. So the number A, B, C, D is equals 2, 1, 7, 8. Then the value D, C, B, A is equals 8, 7, 1, 2. Thank you for watching the video.